In this tutorial, we'll talk a bit about the SNAP2 feature in OpenVSP. Now, SNAP2 is basically a collision detection algorithm within your model that iterates on a parameter until whatever set of components you have in the analysis will either hit each other or reaches some target minimum distance. And you can find SNAP2 by going to the Model tab and coming down to SNAP2 here in the dropdown. This window will open up where you can set a target minimum distance of either zero at a minimum or some positive value. You can choose what set of components you want, and you can choose whatever parameter you want to manipulate to see if things will hit or if they will clear. And notice that you also have the option to use the Alter Option key and drag parameters around to interactively do this. And as a quick demonstration, you can see that I've chosen the transform X location of this small sphere as my parameter. And what will happen is if I decrease this, it automatically bumps the X coordinate to zero because now I have these two spheres touching here. If I increase, it does it the other direction. And so it's going to go through and it's going to find whenever this target distance becomes true in between the normal surfaces of the, of the bodies. But if I increase again from back here, notice that it's now outside. So you can choose to either increase or decrease, set a distance, and it will come to the next available solution. But notice that if I keep increasing here, the resulting minimum distance says it's not touching. There is no solution. So the X location can become no greater than what it currently is and have a successful distance of zero. And so OpenVSP is doing all this stuff under the hood for you. So you can imagine that this becomes very useful if you want to do things like collision detection between, say, an articulated flap system or a spinning rotor in your model and find out whether or not it's going to strike something like your wing or a tail or some other group of components. You can also use it to set a specific distance normal to two different bodies. So let's say that you need to have some clearance in between two parts. You can set the target minimum distance and adjust that. And so that will serve as a bit of an introduction to SNAP2. Of course, we're going to go into more detail, both in the interactive sense and in the manual collision detection settings in subsequent videos and provide an example, but this will get you started.